Magandang araw, April and Marcos po, ang inyong pretty ate sa EdTech Unit. Alam ba ninyo na may webinar o online training session ng EdTech Unit tuwing Sabado? Ang araw na ito ay nakalaan para sa ating mga mahal na kaguruan upang turuan sila ng mga bagong kaalaman at kakayahan sa paggamit ng mga bagong software at applications para sa pinaka-epektibong paraan at lubos mapagkusay ang kanilang paraan ng pagtuturo. This is also our fresher session for our beloved teachers to enhance their skills in technology. Every Saturday, we will conduct webinar sessions for teachers about the use, advantages, and relevance of different blended learning software applications. Ang webinar sharing ito ay magsisimula ng alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali para sa morning session. Magsisimula naman ng alauna at magtatapos ng alas 4 ng hapon ang afternoon session. You can watch us in our Dev Ed EdTech Unit Facebook page, Educational Technology Unit YouTube channel, Dev Ed Tayo and Dev Ed Philippines. Kita-kits tayo tuwing Sabado! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Bago ko malimutan, uh, maraming salamat sa aking earliest bird na nandito sa ating online tutorial ngayon, si Miss Ali Dawami. Siya yung kaunahang nag-join sa ating online tutorial. And once again, good afternoon, Philippines. Good afternoon, world. And welcome to this afternoon session for Contemporary Philippine Arts for, from the Regions. So, our Hi, Ma'am um, Grace, pwede po kayo magpakita sa cam. Thank you po. Naka-off po yung camera niyo. Alright. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so a little bit of technicality. So again, thank you, Ma'am Ali Dawami, for being the earliest bird in our online tutorial class for Philippine contemporary arts from the regions. And I, I am your tutor for this afternoon, Tutor Mary Grace. So I would also like to greet uh, my academic family, Quezon Science High School, headed by our um, most supportive school head, Dr. Carla Marie B. Carandang. Yeah. Thank you very much for um, supporting this um, Volunteerism Act ng lahat ng um, itulay online tutors. And also, good afternoon din sa mga um, senior high school students na nanonood dito sa ating online tutorial at sa lahat ng mga teachers ng DepEd at kahit hindi teachers ng DepEd na nandito din ngayong hapong ito. So we are in quarter three, week number six for our subject. Ang topic natin, Materials and Techniques of Contemporary Arts. So for this time, ang ating reference ay ang module na binuo ng 
develop, development team of the module from the SDO Cagayan de Oro City. So thank you very much for lending us this module. Okay, and for our milks this time around, so we have two, okay, critics available local materials and appropriate techniques used in creating art and explicates the use of available materials and application techniques. So yan yung dapat na learning competencies na ating may enhance, may improve after this module. Our objectives. Okay, so after this module, dapat kayong mga nanonood, pati yung mga sudyante, kasama na natin yung mga parents ninyo, should be able to explain the meaning of the medium or materials and techniques. Determine the meaning conveyed by the art by understanding how an artwork is made through materials and techniques and identify the steps on how to critique an artwork. So, tatlo lang yan. So, hopefully, ma-reach natin yung goal na yan at the end of this module. All right? So last week, okay, we talked about these topics. Postmodernism, dinefine natin yan at in, pinaliwanag kung ano bang ibig sabihin yan. We talked about positive and negative space. And we talked about and we featured the art installations in the country. Okay, featuring the different installation artists in the Philippines na merong exhibit dito sa bansa natin at uh, exhibits abroad. Alright, there you go. Those are our previous takeaways. This time around... Okay, we're going to have a new topic, so therefore we have a new game, okay? So let me call this game, Who Did What? So as usual, I will be featuring some artworks, but I will not be focusing too much on visual arts this time. Okay, so tingnan na lang natin kung ano na yung nandito. What you're going to do is to guess the names of the artists, okay, of these featured artworks, okay? So there are categories, okay, and I only prepared three items for this game. Para may time tayo to discuss the core of our lesson for this afternoon. All right? So our first, uh, okay, so this is the, the instruction to guess the Filipino artist. So Filipino artist lang yung mga yan. Okay? And for our first item, the category is music. Okay, so are you ready? So kung nakita niyo yung aking invitation kanina, you may have an idea about um, the answers to these items. Okay? So this... Um, group of artists gave us albums like Burugudun Stoy is to Gudun Stoy way back in 1997. That's their second album, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have, they have the album Bicotillo released in 2003. And in 2016, they gave us the album Pogi Years Old. So what is the name of this set or group of artists? For your final clue, this is a picture referring to them. And you have 10 seconds to type in your answers. All right? 10 seconds starts now. Okay, so once again, good afternoon kay Ma'am Ali Dawami for being with us today and to our watchers out there. Okay, 10 seconds is up. So I hope you have the correct answer. So this group of artists or this band to be exact is called Parokya ni Edgar. So yes, in the field of music, diba, we talked about music as a contemporary art form. And in our country, parang iconic na ang parokya ni Edgar as our representation for music. Okay, there you go. Moving on to the next item. This category of painting. Yeah. Contemporary painting, of course. He is one of the famous contemporary Filipino painters whose work entitled Baston ni Kabunian Bilang Pero Di Mabilang won the grand prize in the Asia Pacific Breweries Foundation Signature Art Prize in 2011. His art bridges age-old myths of creation to 21st century. Ganun siya kakaiba. Okay? So that's why he became uh, really famous in this field, in this medium in particular, kasi you know, uh, there is an amalgamation of the old and the new sa kanyang mga painting. Sino kaya siya? So to give us an idea about this art piece, ito yung kanyang pininta. Ang tawag dyan ay Basto ni Kabunian, Bilang Pero Di Mabilang, or as translated in several reviews, Cane of Kabunian, Numbered But Cannot Be Counted. Okay? So, 10 seconds, start now. By the way, good afternoon, Sir Ariel. Thank you very much for being with us in our online tutorial. And there you go. 10 seconds is up. And the answer is 
Rodel Tapaya. Yan, a contemporary Filipino painter. Let's get to know him better. This is he. Okay, he is one of the most active artists in Southeast Asia today. He won okay, and became famous after winning the top prize in the Nokia Art Awards na nagbigay sa kanya opportunity to pursue intensive drawing and painting courses at Parsons School of Design in New York and the University of Helsinki in Finland. Pero nagtapos siya ng kanyang art course dito sa University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts. So let's take a closer look at his artwork. O yan yun. Okay. Cane of Kabunian, numbered but cannot be counted. Okay. And for our last item, for who did what gay. Okay. This is in the category of dance or performance. He is a very energetic professional dancer and singer who popularized songs and dance moves like Sayawe Ang Sayaw, Hataw Na, and Shout for Joy. He came to be known as Philippines Mr. Pure Energy. Sino kaya siya? Your final clue is, or are, okay? Your final clues are these pictures. 10 seconds, go. Okay, so sana kilala natin ito kahit hindi kayo mga tita, ah, nagmula sa tita generation kasi nagperform pa rin naman siya until today. Tama ba kayo ng hula? Let's see. If you answer Gary V or Gary, Gary Valenciano, counted syempre yan. So, Mr. Pure Energy himself, siya ay again another iconic artist that represents our contemporary art in the field of dancing and performance art. There you go. So, did you get all three items correctly sa ating Who Did What game? Well, I hope so. Okay, let's move on to our lesson for the day. So, I have here an important question that I would like you to think about. Okay? How do artists decide about the medium of their art? Si Da Vinci ba nagising na lang isang araw at sinabi niyang, ay, gagamit ako ng oil on canvas. O kaya, gagamit ako ng pencil to sketch. Si Picasso ba, ganun din? Or, or yung mga sculptors, nagising na lang ba sila isang araw to decide that they're going to use, let's say, eyes for those sculptures? ba? Paano kaya nila nalaman na nandun yung nandun yung gusto nilang gawin pagdating sa larangan ng sining. Okay? So, well, one thing is for sure, kahit nung kabataan pa natin, medyo siguro somehow naka, naka, ano, naka tatak na sa DNA natin na mag-drawing pag nakakahawak tayo ng pan-drawing. Kalimitan ang canvas natin ay ating natural skin. ba? So, mag-drawing tayo ng kung ano-ano sa ating balat. Okay? Pero hindi ibig sabihin ng lahat ng kabataan na na-expose dyan ay tumungo sa direksyon ng pagiging isang artista or artist okay, sa larangan ng sini. Okay? So, pero paano napipili ng isang artist ang kanyang medium? So, pag-aralan natin yan. So, according to uh, um, some researches, okay, so the artists, crafts, people, and designers, they use a broad range of materials, techniques, processes sa kanilang mga ginagawa nakakapag-produce sila ng kanilang artwork okay, by preparing and gathering all the materials na somehow, let's just say na for the meantime, for lack of a better term, trip nilang gamitin. O kaya kung pinanganak sila na nandun na yung talent nila, gifted sila dun sa linyang yun. Diba? Sometimes naman, yung mga innovative artists, they combine traditional craft with contemporary art and they design it innovatively. Okay, so there you go. Now, with the advent of technology, syempre, it is very important to note na ito yung isang bonggang-bonggang opening gate, okay, para sa pagkukombine ng art, science, and technology. Kagaya halimbawa na nandiyan sa picture natin. Yan ay uh, light art na tinatawag na na-feature ng mga MIT, um, MIT artists sa Boston, Okay, so it, it combined art, science, and uh, light technology. Okay, so isa yung art structure or art installation. So yan yung isang halimbawa na kung saan nakokombine ng um, traditional artists ang kanyang hilig sa larangan na sining sa makabagong technology. Pwede rin naman sa larangan ng fashion. Okay, meron tayong ditong chiffon dress na suot-suot ng isang ramp model. Okay, slaying the... Slaying the ramps, slaying the catwalk, 
Okay, tapos yung damit niya merong light technology. Okay, so isa rin niyang halimbawa ng pagkukombine, di ba, ng fashion designing as an art with technology. Materials and techniques are not neutral or accidental. So ito na yung sagot. But they are part of the context of the work. So hindi sila, yung mga artists, hindi sila nagising one day and decided na, ah, okay, gagawa ko ng pots using um, earth or using clay. Okay, o, kaya gagawa ko ng vases using uh, different kinds of uh, materials, di ba? So hindi ganon. Okay, sometimes yung, yung longing ng heart nila kung anong gusto ng materials na gamitin, yun yung nangyayari. So in a way, we can say that they are the ones choosing, choosing their materials materials and choosing their techniques on how they produce their artwork and the entirety of the artwork represents okay yun yung mismong context ng gustong i-share ng artist sa mundo whether it's his ideals it's his emotions or concepts na gusto niyang ipahiwatig to the world okay it is all in the context of the work and that includes materials and techniques they are not neutral or accidental so, halimbawa, yung mga sculptors, okay? So, they use several materials like metal, wood, stone, clay, glass, and ice. Okay, so lahat yan, pwedeng isa dyan, pwedeng combination ng lahat ng yan. Yung mga ginagamit nilang materials. Kasi yung sculpture, it's a three-dimensional kind of arts that occupy space and volume. Halimbawa na lang yung pottery. So, yung mga sculptors, pwede silang mamili sa mga available materials sa kanilang lugar, Pwede yun na maging basihan ng kanilang desisyon. Okay? Pwede naman sa kung ano yung mura, kung ano yung available at the time na nag-decide silang mag-take up ng sculpture. Okay? So, there you go. So, for example, itong ating mga um, famous pieces of sculpture in our country. So, we have there the oblation. We have the, we have the blue wood carving. And we even have the carving of saints and angels okay, that we can find in our Catholic Churches. So, lahat ng mga yan, okay, they are made by sculptors who decided what materials and techniques they are going to use for their artwork. Okay, so before I proceed, I'd like to say good afternoon, Ma'am Elsa Echavia Perez from AL Navarro Elementary School. Thank you for being with us today, Ma'am. For architects, Ma'am, yan. Okay, so they make use of wood, bamboo, brick, stone, concrete, cement, and other building materials para sa kanilang artwork. Pero siyempre, basically, dun muna sila magsisimula sa kanilang design, sa kanilang sketch, okay, or sa drawing. But when they, they go to building their designs, ito yung mga materials na pwede nilang pagpilian. Pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawa, pwede na mga combination of all. Remember one time in our in one of our episode na feature ko yung kubo, okay, which is made up, made up of... Um, Engineered bamboo, okay, 89,000 pesos yata yung isang basic kubo, di ba? So that is a work of of a genius of an architect. Kasi that's engineered bamboo, What it's what we have in our uh, in our country, di ba? So pwede silang mamili yung mga architect nang yun lang yung gagamitin. Pwede na mga combination of one, two, or more materials. Okay, so architecture is also three-dimensional arts. It also occupies space and volume. But, Unlike do sa ibang art form, okay, time is an important element in architecture. Why? Listen very carefully. Kasi yung output ng mga architects, it could be a residential house or a building, okay, yung mga outputs na yan ay titirhan o lilipatan ng mga tao. Okay, so when an architect deals with a client, okay, may time frame na dapat masunod. Diba? So, pag nasunod yung time frame na yun, saka makakalipat yung uh, mga tao dun sa kung bahay man yun or building. So, time is an important element in the field of architecture, in this kind of art. At dapat, uh, alam yun ng lahat ng architect. So, if you're aiming to be an architect, so you have to be really good at time management. Okay? So, here are some examples of architectural pieces in our country in the contemporary time. So, the blue and yellow painted building represents one of the um, sky-high condominiums that we have in our country. And then the, the other part, okay, this is a very nice touch in, arch in architecture, a very nice progress. Kasi yung terrain niya, hindi na kailangang patagin yung lugar. 
but architects take on the challenge to work with the terrain that they have okay, for their outputs. Hindi kailangan na pag porket nasa gilid ng hills, uh, I mean, nasa gilid ng cliff, ipapatag yung lugar para maitayo yung bahay. No. Sinitake on nila yung challenge, di ba? If, if you're watching, I'm not promoting him, but if you're watching uh, architect uh, Lian, si Oliver Austria, yan yung isa sa mga gusto niyang challenges. Okay, yung may slope, okay, yung terrain ng kanyang pagtatayuan ng kanyang mga dinisay na bahay. Okay, or, or building. Kasi nandun yung challenge. And, syempre, magkakaroon ka ng chance na gamitin yung iba't ibang technology, okay, for you to be able to build your house. Okay, that's for the field of architecture. So, next... What about the materials and techniques for painters? Yeah, whenever we talk about art, I believe ito yung unang pumapasok sa isipan natin. Paintings, di ba? Then, magra-rush na sa isipan mo si Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, Espolarium, etc., etc. Lahat ng yun. So, ano bang materials na kalimitan ginagamit ng isang painter? So, gumagamit sila ng iba't ibang pigments uh, in form of watercolor, oil, textile paint, acrylic ink, or poster paint. At lahat ng mga yan, pag-aaralan nilang gamitin to be applied usually on flat surfaces like wood, canvas, stone wall, kagaya ng mga cave paintings na nakita sa Europe dati, pwede rin sa papel, ceilings like in the Sistine Chapel, di ba? And even in three-dimensional objects, kagaya ng mga nakikita natin sa street art, yung mga um, water supply sa kalsada na ginagawang parang minion. Nialigyan lang ng paint na parang minion tapos nagiging work of art na siya. Okay? Halimbawa ito, diba? sa ilalim ng mga tulay, yung parang mga foundation nila, ginagawang street art, parang ano, street museum na din. Okay? Ng mga iba't ibang street artists natin, okay, using painting as their, um, as their technique, as their form of art, okay, using different materials. Pwede rin dyan ng spray paint, syempre, kasi this is street art we are talking about. Okay, so there you go. Kung gusto mo maging painter, yan yung mga pwede mo pag-aralan. What if, ayan, you want to be a musician? Okay, what are the materials that you have to consider? Well, not actual materials, but you can work or you are going to work with sounds, instruments. Siyempre, andyan yung words, lalo na kung ikaw yung magkocompose ng kanta mo. And then, of course, yung ating biological na puhunan, our human voice. Yan. So, yan yung mga materials and you can work on the techniques that you want to do to be able to produce your uh, musical work of art. In our country, okay, from the oldies na sinatawag up to the modern times, okay, we have different kinds of musicians for different uh, genre. Nabumove tayo from the classical music to pop rock to pop music, danceables, novelty, etc. So, lahat ng mga yan, they are all products of artists also because musicians are artists. So, kung trip mong bumirit o kung trip mong mag-compose ng kanta, yan. Pwede kang maging musician slash artist working with these materials. Okay, then how about dancers? Yan, yeah, tawag natin mga ano, no? Danceries, lalo lalo na kung nasa TikTok, di ba? They also have their materials to work with. For example, yung kanilang katawan, yun ang kanilang biological na puhunan, okay? With um, with the different movements that they can produce, okay, dapat lang yung movements, they have rhythm, they are in sync. Okay, usually, may background music, pero pwede din namang wala. Okay? So, dancing is usually accompanied by music, but not in all cases. Nakapanood ako ng mga um, dance performances na walang background music. When I was teaching in a private school before, meron kaming pa-contest kung saan may spoken poetry and in the background, dapat may dancer na nag interpret ng spoken poetry. Okay, so there's no background music, only the words. So the body will have to do rhythmic, uh, synchronous movements with those words. Okay, dancing is not just performing. It also tells stories. And most importantly, it conveys abstract ideas. So one thing I found out, okay, nangyayari na pala itong dancing on the wall. Like, the dancers are literally, they are hanging um, with har um, using harnesses. Tapos, doon sila sa gilid ng isang building to perform their usually interpretative um, dance performance. Or, pwede lyrical dance performance. So, isa ito sa mga 
um, parang nauuso na in our contemporary time. And another field would be for writers. Okay, so writing is also an art and it's also part of contemporary art form. Siyempre, your materials would be words and they will be coming from your experiences. Yun yung number one na resources ng isang writer, yung kanyang sariling experiences. So when you write, it can take time or not, depende kung paano mo hinahandle yung tinatawag nating writer's block. So I am very much amused with Tom Clancy, for example, kasi ang dami niya na-produce na novels, and these are fiction, hate fiction novels na napakakakapal, pero ang dami na niyang na-produce. I wonder how he's dealing with writer's block, or maybe that he is not experiencing one. Well, we, we can never know for sure unless we interview him, right? So yeah, so it takes time or not, depending on how you handle writer's block. You can also write fiction or non-fiction. You can write poetry, okay? Yung mga sinasabi nila sa isang spoken poetry, that is also a form of writing, especially if they are penning it down before speaking them. Okay? At yung isang nauuso ngayon, syempre, during the pandemic, ay yung tinatawag na online writing. Napakadaming platforms na pwedeng gamitin for online writing. At you know what? Pwede rin pagkakitaan ito, uri ng art na ito, during, uh, during this pandemic. So I have students who are engaging into online writing and they're getting paid for writing fictional stories. Okay, so in our country, some of the famous artists, uh, we have Jessica Safra, author of a short story entitled Manananggal Terrorizes Manila and her latest novel, um, The Age of Umbridge. And then we have Rogelio Braga, she nagsulat nung collection of his literary pieces entitled My Rush Hour Ba Sa Third World Country. So sila'y dalawa lamang sa mga sikat na writers ngayon sa panahong ito dito sa ating bansa. Kakaya rin ni Halimbawa ni Danton Remoto. Yeah. So sila yung mga magkakakontemporary. Okay, and now, para dun sa iba na wala dun sa naunang halimbawa ng field ng arts o ng form ng arts, meron tayong tinatawag na mga designers, performance artists, and installation artists. Ano yung kakaiba sa kanila? They actually combine okay, a wide range of materials, techniques, and principles, principles or elements of art para ma-produce yung kanilang art form. Okay, so ito yung isang halimbawa. So, di ba last time we talked about um, flash mob, okay? flash, flash mob dances. So, itong flash mob na ito, hindi siya yung karaniwan na makikita natin kung saan merong um, hip-hop moves or, or jazz moves sa kanilang performances. But this is in focus to or on acrobatic kind of performance. Pero a la flash mob. Okay, it is done in, in public kadulad din ng ibang flash mob dances. And this is performance art. Okay, so there you go. Now, having known all these materials, we can also classify arts based on them. Okay, so we have actually six classification. Okay, starting with musical arts. So, dyan kasama yung music, poetry, tsaka dancing with music. Then we have practical arts. And dyan yung architecture. And then yung uh, designing of furniture, also designing of clothes. Then we have environmental arts. Kasama din yan syempre yung sculpture kasi you may use wood and that is part of the environment. Or you may install your, your sculpture somewhere um, where there is a large environment, okay? like a like, uh, park. You know, so pwede yun. Kaya environmental arts din yun. Then we have site-specific works. Ito yung mga art installations na outdoor. Okay? And then we have landscaping. So, syempre, pag, uh, pagsasaayos ng mga halaman okay, is also considered an art form. Then we have pictorial or visual art. So, dito kasama lahat ng uri ng paintings, drawings, graphics, kasama ng stage and production design sa so filmmaking at sa theater. Next is dramatic arts. Ito yung mismong performance ng mga actors and actresses sa theater, sa so film, Okay, music and dance performances. And finally, we have narrative arts. It's all about writing. It's all about literature. So these six are the classification of arts based on the medium used that we have discussed earlier. Okay? Now, add on. What are the things that you have to also learn aside from those that we have already tackled? There are other mediums of art. 
that are not yet included in the ones um, being explained okay, earlier. So first is photography. So syempre, ang photography is not um, is not new to us, okay? But with the advent of digital technology, okay, yung mga bata as early as two years old or even earlier na kaya nang mag-take ng picture using using um, their cell phones, halimbawa, pwede na ring mag, uh, mag-take ng art into photography. Okay, syempre, nandiyan, digital photography. Okay, ang isang pinakang magandang gawin ngayon is yung astrophotography, no? Kaya lang, according to one of my co-teachers in Quezon Science High School, Sir Mark, good afternoon, Sir Mark, um, kailangan natin na uh, minimize, uh, lugar ko saan minimize yung light pollution para mayroon tayong magandang kuha ng ating ano, uh, night, hindi lang night sky, even the, the stars, okay, beyond the night sky. Okay? Then the next medium is filmmaking. So ang isang pinakain ngayon, ngayon ay yung mga short films and then we have the independent films or indie films, di ba? So itong art form na ito, maraming artista ngayon ang nagti-take up ng course sa filmmaking. Okay, they are transcending from being just actors and actresses to becoming the ones creating the art of that film, the art of any film for that matter. And then finally, we have fashion. From designing clothes, okay, to to um, ramp modeling, to hair and makeup, those are all art forms under the medium of fashion okay so there you go these are three other mediums for contemporary arts and we also have them in our country okay so let us see what are the takeaways that we have for today the first one would be that materials and techniques are not neutral or accidental but they are part of the context of the work so remember that you're not born to um, you know, with the materials already in your mind. Okay? So as, as you grow up, saka mo lang madidevelop yung liking mo toward a particular material and technique na gusto mong gamitin if you want to take on art. And then the second takeaway is that there are different materials or mediums that an artist can use to convey his ideals, emotions, or concepts. So na-discuss natin kanina yung iba't ibang materials na yan. The third takeaway for the day is that art Okay, different art forms can also be classified based on the mediums or materials used by a particular artist. And then finally, we learned about the other mediums such as photography, filmmaking, and fashion. There you go. And now, it's time for our quiz time. Okay, parang redundant. It's time for our quiz. But before that, let me say good afternoon to Ma'am Remedio Sladao. Okay, watching from SDO Nueva Ecija Licab Annex. All right, thank you very much for being with us in this online tutorial uh, tutorial class for CIPAR. Yeah. So for this quiz, you're just going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Kaya kung nanonood ka, nanonood ka ngayon, okay, you can just type in your answer in our chat box. Okay, and I will call out if you got it correctly or incorrectly. So probably hindi na lang. Okay, so moving on. With our first question, what kind of artist uses clay and glass to make three-dimensional art pieces? Okay, your choices are painter, sculptor, or musician. You have five seconds to type in your answer. So once again, good afternoon, Ma'am Ali, Sir Ariel, Ma'am Elsa, and Ma'am Remedios. And the answer is letter B sculpture so i hope you got it correctly because we have discussed that earlier okay question number two which art category includes fiction and non-fiction writing okay let's see the choices are narrative pictorial or practical so we're looking for an art category five seconds go yeah Thank you very much for messages, Sir Ariel Mendoza. And the answer is letter A, narrative. Diba? Yung narrative art, dito kasama lahat ng related sa writing. Okay? Writing, fiction, and non-fiction. Question number three. How, how is your score doing so far? Nakaka two correct answers na ba? So, dapat tama rin tong question number three. 
Which of the following is an example of pigments that a painter may use? So, kung magpipainting ka, dapat alam mo to. So, letter A, stone wall. B, acrylic. Or C, wood. Five seconds starts now. And time is up. The answer is letter B, acrylic. So, yung stone wall and wood, yun yung mga surfaces kung saan pwedeng mag-paint ang isang painter. Pero yung acrylic, ito, isang uri ito ng painting material, okay, may, may, syempre, may pigments ng iba't ibang color na pwedeng gamitin ng isang painter. Question number four. Dancing may and may not have blank. Your options, A, movements, B, dancers, or C, musical accompaniment. Five seconds, go. Okay, you can type in your answer in our chat box. Let's see if you got it correctly. The answer is letter C, musical accompaniment. Diba sinabi natin kanina, pwedeng meron, pwede din namang. Walang musical accompaniment ang pagsasayaw. Although, parang challenging yan pag walang music, di ba? Okay. Number five. In architecture, blank is an important element because people would have to move inside a piece of architecture. Okay. What is that element? Let's see. The choices are A, concrete, B, design, C, time. Five seconds. Go. You may type in your answer. And your five seconds is up. And the answer is letter C, time. And there you go. That sums up our quiz for the day. So I hope you got five out of five dito sa quiz na ito. So everything was discussed earlier, okay? So that ends our topic for the day. And we're going to continue with almost the same topic next week, but we'll be focusing on local materials naman. Okay, so before I leave, as usual, I have here my quote-unquote moment with you guys. This time, it's coming from Shiro of the anime series called Log Horizon. So sabi niya, if you can't do something, then don't. Focus on what you can do. Kasi diba, sabi natin kanina, yung artist, yung mamimili, ng materials na pwede niya o na gusto niyang gamitin okay, sa kanyang magiging artwork. So, kung di ka makapamili, okay, saan ka, um, saan ka nakakagawa, dun ka mag, mag-focus. And that will be a great start if you're aiming to become an artist. Just like the artists with their artworks that we have discussed in our previous classes at yung kanina din, di ba? They focus on the material that they can work with. Even it's even if it's in architecture, in sculpture, or in painting. So focus on what you can do. There you go. This is Tudor Mary Grace for Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being with me this afternoon. So tomorrow, please don't forget to be with us on our Wednesday morning habit. Thank you and goodbye.